So there are a couple ways to access ebooks through the library, but I'm going to show you first through the catalog since that's where we're at right now. And you'll notice with this particular title, this one actually shows available at, there's a print copy, a physical book in the library of this title, and then it also has available online. So there is also an ebook for this title. Uh, if you only want ebooks, which right now might be a good idea for you, let's go ahead and do that search just for ebooks. So over here on the left hand side filter, I'm going to click on reset filters to get rid of all of my filters. And now I'm going to select here under availability, the second option that says available online. And I'm going to check that off. So I'm only looking for books that are available online. And I'm going to go ahead and click on apply filters. And that updates me to 14 results. And you'll notice that the publication date was automatically updated for me. And it shows me that these books range from 2006 to 2019. If I wanted to reduce or make this more specific, I could, uh, but I'm going to leave it with those results. So now you'll notice that all of these are ebooks available online. They note they note that available online. This one happens to have both a physical book and an ebook for it. Now to access the ebook, you would have to go into the details of the title first, and you can do that either by clicking on the title itself or by clicking on the words available online. Either way, it will take you to the details of the book. And to actually open the ebook, you want this section right here that says view online, view full text. You can click on this link, click on this link, click on this link. Either way, it's going to open up the book for you in our database. So you'll see here it told you it was available via EBSCO ebooks. That's the database. And this is where it takes us as soon as I clicked on that link. And the first thing you'll notice is it has a description, title information. Uh, if I scroll down to the bottom, table of contents. But this is not the actual book. To see the actual ebook, I have to click on PDF full text over here or EPUB full text. Either one of these will work. I'm going to go ahead and click on PDF. And you'll see this sign, this message that says, sorry, this ebook is in use. Currently, zero other users are in hold. Queue for this ebook. Please sign in to place a hold on this ebook. So you can create an account with EBSCO if you want to and put a hold on the book. But your best bet is just to wait for the book to be returned on the shelf. Um, and the reason is because someone else is looking at this book. I can't look at this right now, and I'll show you with a different title um, how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I'm going to close this title, and I'm going to go to another ebook here. Click on this link, and go to the PDF, and it's loading the book. And here is the book. So. As this is loading, I want you to notice over here on the left, ebook availability. So it's telling me zero of one copies is available because I currently am looking at this one copy. So that means when someone else tries to open up this book, they will get that error message that we saw at the beginning because I'm currently looking at this book. So just like a regular library book that you check out here in the library, once you take that home, no one else has access to it until you return it. So this ebook works the same way. There is only one copy of it. Once I start to look at it, someone has to wait until I return the book for them to be able to access it. Um, so now this book is loaded. I can click this little drop down and look at the different levels or options of the book. And I can jump around. I can go to part two, anti-immigrant speech, um, the aftermath of Trump's election. I can go to immigration as an experience, why walls won't work. Let's say, for example, I want that chapter. I'll just click on that and it will direct me there. 
And so this is the book in its entirety. I can read through it. I can, um, you know, make notes on what I want from this chapter. Uh, but really useful, the database lets you actually save and export pages if you want to keep those to use for your assignment to refer to later. Um, especially if you don't want to keep this ebook open, you want to give other people access. You could, this would be the better option. So if we click on save pages at the top, it tells you how many pages are available for you to save or export. 60 pages at a time is the limit. And it tells me here, what do I want to include in my PDF? So I can just do the current page or I can do the current page and the next 10 or 20 pages or I could do this entire section, which happens to be six pages, and I can click save as a PDF and that will download to my computer or to a flash drive wherever I want it downloaded. The other option is to email the pages to myself. I have the same options as the download feature. And then over here on the right is the important stuff. Um, for citation format, the default is to include a detailed citation and abstract of this book, but I can choose to only have, let's say, MLA citation, or I can choose to only have a brief citation. Uh, whatever you decide to choose, the citation will be included in the email. And then when I click here, this is where I type in my email address. For subject, this is up to you. You're receiving the email. I usually recommend to just copy and paste the book title and put that in the subject heading and then email the PDF. And then of course, if you wanted to print the book or pages of the book, you could here by printing certain pages uh, from your home printer or if you want to come into the library and print, we are open for that. You can come print here and the citation. You can click on the citation tool and that will just give you the citation for this book. You can scroll down to MLA. You can highlight, copy, paste this. Just keep in mind that copying and pasting from EBSCO, uh, you do tend to need to do a little bit of work on the citation. Sometimes colors get transferred that you might not want. And as always, these citations are only about 90% accurate. So you wanna double check them and make sure that they look the way that they should. And then I'm going to close this out. And those are the really important tools, the, the big tools for this, this ebook, these ebooks. Um, but you can also make a search within here. You can also uh, add a note, print out your notes if you wanted to. Um, so there are some other useful tools here. And then when you're done with the book, go ahead and click exit and that will hopefully return the book on the shelf for the next person to see. Uh, exiting out by closing the tab should also do that, although it may take a while for it to reflect in the database. I'm gonna go ahead and close this tab now and go back to my results. And I'm going to click the X and go back here. And I'm gonna show you another way to access eBooks through our databases.